Hello guys, Salami here and today we are making a present. Basically we are making a chest with LED display and a motion sensor. I actually made this for my girlfriend's birthday and she liked it a lot so I'm here to share it with you. Okay, so first thing I did was I created a schematic in a software called Eagle and I printed out. This was a test print so I can check the measurements. The printer I'm using is a laser printer so it can be easily transferred to a PCB when we apply the heat. So basically now we are going to print it on a catalog paper. With the catalog paper we can easily transfer a printed schematic to a PCB. Now we need to wash it a bit. Dry it a little bit. And glue it to a catalog paper that we just printed out. Now we are going to put everything in water so paper can disintegrate. Once we are done with the paper, it's time to be done with this PCB. Chloride acid has been used to remove copper that we don't need. This process took approximately a half an hour and this is before the process and after. It's time for drilling. LED display is 15 by 7, so that's 105 LEDs. Multiplied by 2, that's 210 volts. The PCB is done, it looks beautiful. Now it's time to do a lot of soldering. Soldering is finally done. Now I connected the display to electronics on a breadboard to test it out. And don't worry, schematic will be in the description and so is the code. Once we are done with the testing, we need to create the main board. I'm using an Arduino Pro Mini. And as you know, the display is 15 by 7. So that means it has 15 rows and 7 columns. And that's too many rows and columns for Arduino Pro Mini to handle. Arduino Pro Mini has only a 13 digital output pins. So I'm driving that 15 rows with the two shift registers and I'm driving that five columns directly from Arduino. And for the power I'm using Nival battery that's connected to a 
5 volt voltage regulator because Arduino uses 5 volts and that's basically the whole schematic that you will see. I use some wood protecting paint and after the assembly of all the parts in the box I will paint it one more time with glitter. Now it's time to assemble everything. I put the display on a magnet so it can be easily removed. Now I added some foam. For aesthetic reasons I added some foam glued on a cardboard to cover all the electronics and all the wires and I left space for something to put actually in a box. And the last thing I done was I added some glitter and a paint and I painted the box one more time so it sparkles. And it looks really nice and one more thing that I added in front is a switch. So you can flip on the switch and then open the case and motion sensor detects that it's open and writes a message. And every time someone moves and activates the uh, motion sensor, the new message display. I hope you like this project. If so, press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.